What's up everybody, this is Reverend Guns, and today we are going to be taking apart and cleaning a Taurus 709 Slim. So the first thing you want to do is a safety check. We're going to press this button right here, and when you do, it causes the magazine to come out. We don't want any cleaners or solvents on this thing, so set this far away from your cleaning station until you're done. Then, there's a little lever right here. You're going to push the slide back and push the lever up and it will lock the slide back in place. Now you can look down in the hole and see that there's nothing in the, in the barrel. Now we know it's safe and clear to work on. We're going to decock the slide. We're going to pull the trigger to decock the hammer. Now there is a tab right here. And right here, you're going to pinch them and pull them downward while the slide is back a little bit. So just a little bit, it's what, maybe a quarter inch. Grab the tabs, pull them downward. You can let go of the slide. You can let go of the tabs. And now it should just slide right off. We've got the frame to clean. This is your guide rod and spring. Starting from the back here, you'll push it towards the, uh, the end of the barrel and that'll allow you to take that out. And then from the underside, you can just push up on the barrel and that'll allow you to slide the barrel out. And then we've got the slide. So this is everything we're gonna clean today. Give this a quick spray down. All right, while that's soaking for a moment, I'll explain what I've got sitting here. You just saw me use gun cleaner. Um, this is everybody's own preference and opinion on gun cleaner. You get any decent gun cleaner, it will do the job for you. This is the stuff I use. It works really well, so that's what I'm gonna continue using. I've got a soft bristle brush. It's got a little detail end on it for the small areas. Got a harder bristle brush that I use for real stubborn carbon. Um, I don't use the uh, metal or brass brushes because I don't want to scratch or scrape any of the bluing or uh, any of the plastics, especially wood. Um, it, it's not necessary if you've got a really good cleaner. And the stuff I'm using, this soft bristle brush is more than enough. Got a nine millimeter uh, barrel brush. I've got a slotted cleaning rod here for uh, cleaning out the rest of the barrel. Uh, the screwdriver we don't need today. I've got some gun oil. I have a rag just for gun oil, that way it's not contaminated with anything else. I've got some patches, Q-tips sometimes come in handy, and a couple of rags here to uh, wipe things off as we go. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the barrel because really this is the only thing that kind of matters on how you do it. The rest of it, you can just kind of go at it, brush it off, make sure it's clean. But as far as the barrel goes, you want to put it in the back, going towards the forward, the way the barrel or the bullet travels through the barrel. Um, and the reason why is if you go through this end, you run the chance of chipping, dinging, denting, damaging the end of this, and, and that'll you know, cause accuracy issues and other problems. So we're trying to prevent that. So we're gonna go in from the back and just start scrubbing. Make sure you go all the way through, get some nice good scrubs in there and you'll feel it kind of get less gritty and a little smoother. And after a minute or so, you can go ahead and stop that. I sometimes brush the feeding ramp here. 
I'll grab my soft bristle brush and just start going around everywhere you can see. We want all this carbon off. Get the end real good. The detail end will help with the guide rod steps here. Get in little areas, especially the feeding ramp. Alright, now we've got most of this brushed off. Let's grab some patches. Now this is a 9mm, so I usually do two at a time. It, it fills up the barrel a little more and uh, gives it a nice tight wipe down. And we're trying to get all the carbon and anything that's in there out. So, stick it in. And going the same direction you did with the brush, you want to go in from the back. Push it through. Do this a few times. Now, depending on how many times this was shot would uh, depend on how dirty this barrel is. So, you may have to do this several times. You may only have to do it a few times. Check here. Yeah, see all that black on there? That's not good. That's what we're trying to get out of there. So, this will never be completely white. It'll be kind of a light gray. Kind of like it's wet. And, but, you know, we're trying to get all the black out of there. But no, nothing black is ever good. So, keep doing it until you don't see any more black on your patches. And just kind of do it a few times. Pull it out, check it. See, that's looking a little better already. Just a little bit of black stuff on there. We're gonna do that one more time for good measure. just to make sure we've got everything out of there. All right, that looks real good. So we don't see no more black on there. I'm gonna call the barrel done. We've already brushed down the outside. So I'm gonna give this just a little wipe down wipe off any other oil or residue that might be left on there and we'll set that aside for a moment let's do the guide rod and spring here basically you're just trying to get everything out from in between the springs there Can use the detail end if you want. Kind of gets in there real good. And then we'll give this a wipe off. It's looking good. We'll set that aside. Let's work on the slide. You basically you want to get everywhere you can. And you see is dirty. I'll make sure you get in the slide rails real good. We don't want anything to be stuck in there that could cause any problems with it cycling. Let's 
get the striker plate real good. Like it's dirty, which is it could be anywhere on the, the slide because you know your fingers get on it. And uh, make sure we get it around the sights real well. Get the end of the barrel real good. the injection port real good don't want anything clogging that up all right once you feel you've got that scrubbed down real well grab a rag let's clean this out wipe everything off you can there we'll set that aside and let's work on the frame want we'll to make sure you get the guide rails real good pretty much get everywhere else you can and get as much dirt debris carbon that builds up anything off here get around the outside Nice little brush down, not gonna hurt it. Get around the buttons real good. feel you've got everything brushed down you go ahead and wipe it off
make sure to wipe out those slide rails real good. We don't want anything left in there. For some lube <laughs> and I take my oil rag I got oil I spread a little bit on here and I do it on the rag um, so it's just easy to wipe and maneuver uh, let's start with the barrel basically what you're looking for here is scratches or blemishes or scrapes um, anything that looks like it's been rubbing against something that's that's where contact is happening and we want to make sure that those pieces get lubed really well so this one looks like it's got it on all sides of the chamber here I usually do it on the whole uh, shaft of the the barrel and then me personally I put a tiny amount of a little dab right there on the feeding ramp to help it when it's loading on the guide rod and spring the idea is to kind of push it in there so it gets on the guide rod it's not the easiest thing so just kind of do the best you can really don't need much and uh, you call that done on the slide same thing, we're looking for scrape marks, anything that looks like it's been rubbing or touching or anything that, that shows contact on something. So we wanna make sure we get inside the top of the barrel here because the barrel rubs against there. Uh, looks like I see right there and on each side. So that looks pretty good. You also want to get inside the guide rail. And I also do the, the bottom of the guide rail there because it scrapes against the frame. But you want to make sure the guide rails have, uh, the slide rails have lubrication. Just so I can get, there we go, down in there, there, that one looks pretty good. Alright, I don't want to put any on the extractor or the, the chamber load thing, um, we, we want minimal amount of uh, oil on here as possible because it does attract dirt and dust so on the frame it's kind of the same thing you're looking for scratches uh, scrape marks anywhere it looks like it's been rubbing it's pretty much where you want it and then you want to make sure you get the guide rails All right, so again, we're not trying to put it anywhere and everywhere because it attracts dust and dirt. And now what's left is putting it back together. So we're gonna take the slide and I've got the muzzle end on my left here. I'm gonna take your uh, 
barrel and you're going to notice it's got some steps on here. One step, two step. This lower step here is where the guide rod spring sits. So you want to remember that when you're putting this in. So with the steps facing upward, just stick it in the barrel hole and push it back. It just seats itself, no effort. You take the guide rod here. It's got a black end and a flat end. It might be silver, depending on uh, what yours looks like. But the black end goes right here below the, uh, the barrel here. So you stick the black end in and you'll want to compress it again just so you can push it down onto that bottom step I just showed you. And it should look like that. It's level with the slide. It just sits by itself in there. Last thing to do is to put the slide back on the frame. You'll notice there's a couple notches, little cuts right there. You will stick the silver tabs on the frame into those notches, just like that, and start sliding it backward until you hear it click. Now you know it's seated back in its position. So now we can do a function check. I do it three times typically. And the only thing left to do now is uh, one final wipe down. I grab a clean rag for this. And we just want to remove any excess cleaner or oil or anything that's on it. And give it one final polish because everybody likes a clean gun. Awesome. This looks good. So there you have it. We have just now taken apart, cleaned, oiled, and put back together a Taurus 709 Slim. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I also offer the online course to get your Texas license to carry a handgun. It's the four hour class broken down into segments and saves your progress so you can do it at your own pace. After completing the course, you will be able to print your certificate. Then it'll help you locate an instructor close to you, no matter where you are in Texas, so you can complete the shooting portion of the course. This is all certified by the Texas Department of Public Safety. Check it out at reverendguns.com. If you have any questions or comments, please add them below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more firearms education.